back in the Roxy Pro France. It's a beautiful afternoon in the south of France. And we have Sally Fitzgibbons as well as Paige Harrop entering the water, overlapping heat format. Sally Fitzgibbons finds a barrel, finds an exit, and she's going to go complete. So nice opening ride for Sally Fitzgibbons in the non-priority heat. That one big win. Sally, one of those versatile surfers, though, is able to mix it up. Has a good read on the lineup. May have to sit because it's not going to be as consistent. Quick wave there for Sally. And you're risking sitting out there through a lull as well. And, you know, and there'll be those times outside where you're literally sitting there going, oh. She's going to claw back against Tatiana Weston Webb. Hopefully break out of that combination situation. Paige Harab, nice off the top, finishing off right on the beach. But Keely Andrew finds a nice little barrel, finds the exit. And she's going to put up her best number, likely, in this matchup. Keely Andrew breaks that combination. Now she can do it on a more manageable one-wave score of a 6.12. Paige Harrop, a little upset on the shape of that wave. Finds a left, but no opportunity as she dives through there. Still got lots of time on the clock, given the short paddle of 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Sally Fitzgibbons, a little airdrop and a soft bank off the oncoming section. May factor in for Sally's, considering she is carrying a .50, but not something she's probably going to want to keep in her uh, two-way total. <laughs> Three minutes and 25 seconds counting down. Fitzgibbons in the non-priority heat looking for something. Again, bank off the oncoming closeout. Just keeps on surfing in the non-priority heat. She got 1.5 for her previous wave, looking to build upon that score. If you're not, you're just... Permanent priority oh, okay. heat. Strider's in a permanent priority heat. Priority getting used right now by Sally Fitzgibbon. Winds up, thick lip there to deal with, and it just bites her back. I love that they're slamming those sections. The yes flag, I like it. Uh, what does that look like? <laughs> It's a big smiley face on a yellow flag. <laughs> Paige Harrop taking off. Can't find any open face on that attempt. She's going to have to paddle back out. She's got 12 minutes and 45 seconds counting down. So these, ladies, these ladies are, are going for it. I mean, Sally, when she hit that lip on that last one, that closeout was mental. How she goes for it again. Nice off the top of Sally Fitzgibbons looking to better her low of a 2.57. I like the fact that she was able to get that second maneuver in. This was that wave I was talking about that she should be bettering the 2.57 just because of the criticalness of that section. So well, there's going to be a it. rush down to the beach right now for Brisa Hennessy. Here we go with Sally Fitzgibbons. Throws the air. Oh, does not complete it, but I like the intent from Fitzgibbons. Isn't there's a possibility to finish tomorrow? Throw an overlapper in uh, the round of 16, I would say so. And then you've got... Go quarters, semis, final. No, nah, it's a long, another long day. I know, don't get too crazy. <laughs> wow, that was some radical surfing right there. Sally Fitz throwing it up on the backhand again in the lip, but incomplete. So it is possible, and she's been reading the lineup. She understands the scores. Harab with a big snap on the forehand, and that is going to put her right back in the game. Paige Harab looking for a 5.17. I don't know if she's going to get there with that big snap, but she's going to get rid of her fractional score that she has in her two-wave total. Replay here, Paige. Nice deep bottom turn. We saw that exact bottom turn on the last of the Freshwater Pro. Yeah, from Hawaii, we invented surfing. <laughs> here we go. Sally Fitzgibbons, trip to the lip, and is able to go complete. That was beautiful. Quick feet and a lot of commitment by Fitzgibbons, looking to better her 3.17. That wave came in. It was just like a wave you'd look at and be like, yes, it's on. Look at this thing. Beautiful drop. Things follow behind her. Spits behind her. She throws it up into the lip. So would have been a beautiful view from the top, as you can see. And then on the way back out, Sally Fitzgibbons. Oh, nice spicy snap for Fitzgibbons. What chicken pox? <laughs> <laughs> she shook off chicken pox like two days ago, and she's out here just... Are you serious? Yeah. Well, there you go, Pete. Sally Fitzgibbons moves into the quarterfinal.